It was a hot summer day, and Mariah had been working in the kitchen for hours, preparing a big meal for her family. She was making her famous chili and had been at it since early that morning. As the afternoon wore on, her arms ached and her back was sore from standing over the stove. She decided to take a break and sat down at the kitchen table with a cold glass of water. As she sipped her drink, she glanced over at the counter and noticed that she had forgotten to open one of the cans of tomatoes. With a sigh, she stood up and walked over to the counter where the can opener sat next to the can. Mariah had always been a bit wary of the old can opener. It was a hand-me-down from her mother-in-law and had always seemed a bit off. It was a nod shade of rushed red and had a strange, almost sinister, look about it. But Mariah had never paid much attention to her reservations and had used it countless times without incident. As she reached for the can opener, it suddenly moved on its own, leaping off the counter and attacking her with a ferocity she had never imagined possible. She screamed as the sharp blades sliced into her skin, slicing through muscle and bone with ease. As the can opener continued its rampage, Maria's husband rushed into the kitchen to find her lying on the floor in a pool of blood, with the killer can opener standing over her lifeless body. He barely had time to register what had happened before the can opener turned on him, its blades flashing in the sunlight. And so, the killer can opener claimed another victim, adding to its growing list of victims in the small town where it had terrorized the residents for years. No one knew where it had come from or why it had such a thirst for blood, but one thing was certain. It was a force to be reckoned with, and no one was safe from its deadly blades.